What is up, my Gwenting friends? All right, so here's the deal. Uh, Ethne has, um, she's been bulking up, you know, and she's ready to go on a little bit of a detox, a little bit of a, a, a power cleanse here to just make sure that rippling hot body uh, is able to take full advantage of her rippling hot muscles in Wrath of Broccolon. Now, uh, why are we saying that? Because there was a change to her two patches ago. Um, hand boost was still, I mean, if we're being honest with each other, it is, it is still kind of garbage. But um, basically what we're going to get out of Ethne here is the ability to hand boost Ethne so that Wrath of Broccolon is worth like 20 points in round three. Um, the... the it is, if we're all being honest with each other, it's, it's pretty meme -y, but it, it's it's fun and it's a good time and we all need a little bit of meme -y good times in the current meta. So let's get in there and go get it. There is no sim loss in this, so be aware of that. Honestly, you know what? I just I can't do it. We're gonna do some. We're gonna do some loss. It needs it needs some loss. I think I know how to make it work. I just gotta take out force protector. And shaping nature is pretty garbage. Pretty trash. If we're being honest with each other. Um, you no longer have to be devotion for Tortuga, but you do for it. So before somebody's like, oh no, you had you blah 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 you could have taken blah blah blah. No, I couldn't have. Okay, so deal with it. We're gonna go for skags just because I want another unit that the hand boost is value on, so Although we I guess we could have gone for another um I think we could have gone for another special card here. So let's go for a caress. Because Hawker supports are fine, but they're not they're not great. They're like good round one for a slow round one, which those don't exist that much anymore. There are much better cards to accom that accomplish the same basic principle that Hawker Smugglers do. And you have to play other things before you play them. Especially in this deck since we're doing Symbiosis. You can't just like use Leader to hand boost it. So um, it's just a little bit different than it is with other decks. Nothing else I could say about that really. There's our Torqua. Always goes to hand now. It's pretty dope. Um... These will probably be helpful. I can't remember if there are two rebukes or just one. I think there's just one, so I think we need to hold it. We could probably put back Crest, though. This is honestly looking pretty good. Got for me. Yeah, this is definitely Kelly. Ah, uh, yes, the NVIDIA drivers. I always, always got to make sure to do those. Yeah, I'm, I'm showing a solid 60, 60 frames per second. So I, I upgraded my frames from 30 to 60, and then I also went to 4K, and my GPU was like, uh-uh, not doing it, bro. So we're, we're finding new... New hope elsewhere. Oh, let's try to get Dunka a little hand boost first. Mother Earth, I grant you my life. From you it's clean to do to dance. Yeah, NVIDIA it releases drivers every month because they update the um the GPU drivers for all the like big titles that have just been released. There's really not much there usually isn't much like graphical performance change, but that that is what happens. 
Uh, let's go to range just because we have a couple other melee cards. So. Come on, go to like uh, any of these three, but preferably this guy. You can do it, my man. Uh, he is far left at this point, and I would honestly take right or left. So we really have two choices with uh, Bountiful Harvests. Orb of Insights are pretty solid too. Solid choices as well though, so. Ugh. In fact, I think I might, I'm gonna take those. Just because we also have several of them. I'll, I'll dump another one, I'm gonna blah, 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 blah. Um, so let's do it. This gives us the vitality we need for her too, so that's kind of nice. And I'm guessing they just didn't draw into Kelly, and they don't have Witch's Sabbath, so they don't want to play like a different card to, to summon out Kelly. Come on, you can do it, baby. Serious. Not a single one of those went to Torqua. Torqua. Torqua sounds so much cooler than Torque. Which is, you know, what it's actually spelled like in English. Oh, cool. Okay, we will get the opportunity to showcase this. So that's good. Uh, we have the grab on Gord. So I'm probably actually play that. Uh, Rebuke's actually not all that helpful in reality. Yeah, the yeah, torque is in the word in physics and cars and stuff. Yeah. I mean... In the TV show and in the audiobook, they, everybody pronounced Torqua. Torqua. Plus it just sounds more elvish if we're honest with each other. All right, we kind of have to play this in order to have something to play the to play the orb of insights on because we don't have anything else. I mean, we could play Fove here as well to get the bountiful harvest, which I'm probably going to do just to like clean this up a little bit. But let's go for this. We'll go for leftmost. Ah, oh, that's so garbage. Rightmost is Ethne, so. I mean, in truth, this is like a five point play normally, but it's so bad here. It's so bad here just because. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we'll go for Sawan Deem. Well, actually, let's take uh, Fove on to Bountiful Harvest. This will play the orbs. And dead twan. Um, I think we can basically get away here with this and this. So let's go for. Oh, could you not? Did. Stupid scams, like ringing 1800 decibels loud on my iPad. So obnoxious. I mean, it would have been cool if Torqua got a single, single piece of that, but I mean, that's pretty good actually. It's a weird commit there. Everybody gets to make choices. <laughs> At least we get to show that Ethne's had her. Ethne's been uh, been working out, man. There we go. I knew you could do it, Torqua. I knew you could do it. Uh, if Gord's already at, he's not. So I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna say if Gord was gonna be at max strength, I might actually just play him just to point slam here. 
I might even actually still do it if we're all being honest with each other. Hidden mid, if anything. Uh, it will be 10. So, I mean, we would nominally get it higher next round, but this gives me two whispers. Wow. Way to sit on that. That's got to be so deem. Which I don't really care about, but that's like, if it was anything else, you're a moron. I got like too many one one and two power units for Kelly to even be slightly scary. Yeah, we're gonna do it here. Um just to thin the deck. Well, I don't know, it is nature, so actually let's go ahead and pass. It's nominally more valuable with the whispers, but not really, so doesn't make that much of a difference here. And with Ethne next turn, it's going to be worth uh, worth an, about that amount of points, and we'll get more specials, most likely. We won't want this guy almost, although he is like 3 plus 3 plus 3, so he is like a 9 point play on the Torqua. But as you saw, the reason I got rid of him is because you do have that strong chance to just not get... This goes up by one. He's got to play a leader. I guess now he can bat the Witch Apprentice. And plus it comes back anyway. So he actually didn't need to do that. But. <laughs> this is going to like Kelly's going to just feel like she's uh, like she hasn't been hitting the gym. Whereas I has. Okay, cool. Okay, this is actually pretty good. Uh, I'm happy with this. Even though this is actually better. Uh, Hawker Smuggler, I can just set it and forget it kind of thing. We'll want to commit her and then start using leader ability. Okay, it's a little bit risky to do on to melee, but everybody gets to make choices. This is, I didn't even realize it was gonna be Hamadryad, so, um, my tree. effing dope. <laughs> this is, this is all I could ever dream of and more. You go for it, my man. You get that extra card. Cause by Jove, you're gonna need it. Yeah, we just don't want to play any... Oh, she's Symbiosis 3. I, for some reason, I was thinking it was 2. So we're 3, 4, 5, 6. So both of these are going to spawn 6-point Treants. One of these will die, which is kind of suck, but... Eh, what are you going to do? Uh, now it should be on to these two. Hopefully they go to Torqua. No, they're like all on to Sheldon. What are you gonna do? Now it's gotta be Dryad's Caress. I would have done it to Dunka, but okay. I mean, you just have the chance of it hitting her anyway, so. Okay, Sheldon has to hit him anyway, and it's 10 points, so one more is a kill regardless. So I think we just let Dunka sit. It doesn't, it's not a big deal if she dies. It's, and now it's no, it's no additional value at this point, so. Um, remember she has immunity too, so it's just like extra ultra hand boost to which the opponent can do nothing. Okay, 
Yeah, we're at five now, which kind of sucks to have to play. Basically just a, a dead card, but... One of these two dies. It's fine. No mercy. Oh, he should boost himself by 11 here. It's not the best, but... Um, the net boost here is 12. 13. Yes, this is like 25. So that was a bad move. I should have gone to this row. Although Sheldon's going up here, so it ends up netting out about the same. I have to do that. 15. 19. 1924 28 yeah so I'm actually this is actually a good move boom watch carefully as I unveil my master plan I mean, they missed Kelly in an earlier round and could have got her back with Witch's Sabbath, but I don't know that it would have saved them. It's close. Uh, I think they might win this here. Yeah. Boars was a legit last play. Spores, most valuable card in their I mean, Kelly got more points than Spores, but. Yeah, we just missed a ton of value on the Torqua. But we got to showcase uh, Aitne on her uh, her new her new diet. Is uh, wrecking nerds. Oh. Um, so question, do you, does anybody have another Gwent deck they would like to see? For those of you on YouTube, that includes you, so post that up, um, but those of you in Twitch chat as well, if you want to see something else, we can pilot some stuff for a little bit, um, and then also, uh, I've done some Steam Deck videos this last week, but I'm, I'm interested to see if people would be more interested in, uh, Oh my gosh, what's it called? I can't think of it. I suppose. In the end. Okay, she can be problematic for um, hawker smugglers because people usually play. You're in a brand right after, plus Mask of Orobos. Yeah, this is a rough choice, to be honest. Um, go for Dunka. If they don't. If they play Birna and Mask of Urbos, she dies. That's not there's not much I can do in that scenario. Okay, it's single use. Yeah. At least we get it all out now. So they did they do technically they miss actually two points of value, because one onto armor and then one is over overshoots. So it kind of sucks, but at the same time it's like, eh, who cares? Please, just go to this man. Go ahead. Stare at me again. See what Otherwise, um, I've done a ton of Star Citizen video recordings lately, so 
Uh, for those of you who haven't watched that channel, might be interested in it. That's just called Gone Gaming instead of Gone Gwenting. It's my not really my flagship channel since Gone Gwenting is my flagship channel, but kind of my main one. And then more Steam Deck stuff coming on. Strange. Coming on. Uh, Uh, Gone Gaming's hardware. Which does kind of sound sexual. Let's go for these. Oh, I don't know. Maybe we just go for orbs. See, was it so hard? Yes, so uh, Sanjay uh, in Twitch chat saying there should be a, a Scoyatel card which says deploy, choose a unit in your hand, and at the end of your turn boost it by one. Like an eight, like an eight provision, 4.1 armor card. Kind of like Herkia, you know, for random damage pings for, for Skellige, yeah. But like a targeted hand boost, that would be really nice. Or maybe make it like a really weak card. I mean, like, Scratch a lot is more value than most of the hand boost stuff. Um, I think we want to be done here. Sucks to lose on evens, but like, I don't, I don't know if they have a good play to get out of that, so. Trash, trash, trash. Yeah, they could honestly make it like a seven provision card, and make it like 1.1 armor. That way you have to hand boost it first in order to get the value onto other cards. I would I would be down with that. Kind of like him. Like has cool upside, all that all that jazz. Um I'm not that hopeful that we can get the purify off of this, but we can definitely try. Yeah yeah. The idea is sound, I like it. Let's wait a bit. I'm not in a rush. Purify, purify, purify. Uh, everybody's boosted, so this is stupid, but these are all worth fewer points, so. And it goes to Torqua guaranteed, so it's kind of like. And we do go up in points there on the even. Just kind of some good general value. Um, this would actually have given us Whisper, which might have been nice. Before those, that might have been actually a little bit better play, but One more time. Now, what are you going to do? Your you nice. It's only at six. I mean, I'm probably going to take this onto her just so that I can kill her right away next round with Sheldon. Yeah, I also was sensing on a god, but... I 
guess not. Uh, Arnagod is not great against hand boost because you just are like, sure, come at me, bro. Slap it down and <laughs> wreck nerds. Uh, that is a big Sheldon. We don't have other dwarves. Uh, I do get her, which gets me this, which gets me this. Which is about as good as I can get out of that. Um, circle is just not all that helpful. Cool. So I was like, the only other thing I'd want is Salvam. Salvam. I don't know. I don't know how to say that. Tis my tree. I was born. I shall die. I just noticed that like the shrooms are like rainbow colored. Wild. Yes. Yes, damage her. Give me value. This is a spell, not a nature card. But I want to get this down fast. So we're going to do uh, first fast. So we're going to do Ithne first. Nice thing about Arnagot is we just slap down Torqua and be like, yeah, that was useless points otherwise. No sweat! Okay. On all the melee, because we're gonna put her on range. I mean, so this is three, this is nine points. And she is nine points. So, do I want reset value? I kind of think not. I think we go for the. Especially since I'm gonna kind of max this out anyway, and I might get by I might get vitality off of Bountiful Harvest I name draft is mega broken. Oh Yeah, if you can get all three of her. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that would be awesome. Uh, I kind of made a mistake here. I'm not going to be able to get these two, so that kind of sucks. Oh well. We can drop this on Siren. Oh, they're going to kill Siren for me. Nice. Okay, that solves some problems. Um... A non-zero chance they play like, uh... Matahuri. Yeah, it has this little weak offering of the sea. That would have been much better last round where they had all the armored witcher students. Okay, now it's Arnagod. Oh. No. Okay. I've seen it all. I was hoping for sorceress. Um, we don't have a dwarf down, so this is seven points. Why not? This only gets you two cards. Lame, ultra lame. Don't know that I want to give them strength matters not if you lack the skill to wield it. An extra damaged unit.
Okay, let's do Deafening Siren. Ah, oh, I forget their base too. I was thinking that they're one point, but they're base two. So I gave them an extra damage unit anyway. Not really what I wanted because of that. Embrace the cold. Kind of sucks. Let it sink into your bones. I'll get you iron poles, you scoundrels, you! Oh, relic. Okay, so this is actually, this is actually a lot more points. This is eight. Offering of the sea with the with like a rain deck is actually super fun. This is a great one. Used to chop wood, but the pay's better for souls. See, should have played that to range just in case there's a reset. Uh this is actually pretty good. Uh, okay, that's actually really solid. I was gonna say wild boar would be really pretty good here too. Oh, well, that was super weird. Yeah, it was weird, but I kind of like it. All right, well, uh, Ethne might have gone on a detox, and she might be working out, but hand boost still needs a lot of love. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Until next time, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on quenching. Bye for now.